Welcome again to Midweek Prayer. People of God return. You are called to be God's own. From the mountains announce the good news. God comes in justice and peace to all who follow his ways. You are God's children. God our Father, you gave Zachariah and Elizabeth in their old age a son called John. He grew up strong in spirit, prepared the people for the coming of the Lord and baptised them in the Jordan to wash away their sins. Help us who have been baptised into Christ to be ready to welcome him into our hearts and to grow strong in faith by the power of the Spirit. We ask this through Jesus Christ, the light who is coming into the world. Amen. Lord Jesus, light of the world, John told the people to prepare, for you were very near. As Christmas grows closer day by day, help us to be ready to welcome you now. Amen. Jordan's bank the Baptist's cry announces that the Lord is nigh. Come then and listen, for he brings glad tidings from the King of Kings. Then cleansed be every heart from sin, straight the way for God within. Prepare we in our hearts a home where such a mighty guest may come. For you are our salvation, Lord, our refuge and our great reward. Without your grace we waste away Like flowers that wither and decay To heal the sick, stretch out your hand Make wholeness flow at your command Since devastation now restore Earth's own true loveliness once more. To him who left the throne of heaven to save mankind, all praise be given. To God the Father, voices raise and Holy Spirit, let us. Praise. Turn to us again, O God our Saviour, and let anger cease from us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Show us your compassion, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. Your salvation is near for those that fear you that glory may dwell in our land. Lord, have mercy. The reading is from Luke chapter 3, verses 7 to 14. John said to the crowds that came out to be baptised by him, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruits worthy of repentance. Do not begin to say to yourselves, but we have Abraham as our ancestor, for, for I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. 
and the crowds asked him, What then should we do? In reply he said to them, Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Even tax collectors uh, came to be baptised and they asked him, Teacher, what should we do? He said to them, Collect no more than the amount prescribed for you. Soldiers also asked him, And we, what should we do? And he said to them, Do not extort, extort money from anyone by threats or false accus accusation, and be satisfied with your wages. Loving God, show us how to return to you and be changed that we may be ready to welcome the light of Jesus and for the changes that he longs to see to bear fruit in our lives so that we may see more of your justice and your love. For Jesus' sake. Amen. In that reading, John the Baptist sounded pretty ferocious. I think he was actually holding together quite a delicate balance in order to bring real change in people's lives. He was calling the people to repentance, to return to the Lord, who is not far, as Jesus says. Uh, the kingdom of God has come close. It's not a big change but it's a deep and a significant change. I think John and Jesus uh, and all those who follow him try to avoid the dramatic gestures which can feel so good but actually leave our hearts unchanged. It's about our hearts being different and and that is, 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 requires a change that is smaller than the great dramatic gestures, but more effective. This was a time of huge national crisis, not unlike our crisis, but actually very different. It was a disaster that the Romans had come to occupy uh, Palestine. Uh, it was a, a, they were under an arm, a brutal army of occupation. And they had lost their freedom to worship, which was so vital to them. And they were desperate and they wanted to know what was going on. Where is God in all of this? What is God calling us to? So uh, John the Baptist was, was reflecting the mood of the nation when he spoke in, in dramatic terms. You brood of vipers is, is strong stuff. But I don't think they would have been shocked. I don't I think they would have thought, yeah, 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 here's someone who's who's responding to the crisis that we're in. Um, but then the advice that he comes up with, I, I've always felt was a, it's a bit of an anticlimax. If you've got two, show, two coats, share your other coat. Give away your spare coat. That is quite radical, but it's not, well, it's sort of common sense, really. If you've got two and someone else hasn't got one, give it to them. It was very much the way a Jewish society was supposed to work. Share your food. People are doing that uh, with the food bank box that we have outside the vicarage. It's just so humbling, really, to see people bringing food. Um, giving generously. Uh, it's wonderful. Um, share your food and 
don't misuse your power if you're a tax collector, which is being in league with the with the Romans. Don't don't extort more than you should. If you're a soldier and you've got a a sword to to wave at people uh, or threaten people with, don't don't use your power to exploit people. It's all common sense, but that is what God calls us to. Because he wants to see, to lead us to change hearts and change lives. He wants to see our lives changed in practical ways. I was really struck by the words, bear fruit worthy of repentance. What is the fruit that is worthy of repentance that God is is longing to see in my life, in your life. What is God sort of urging you to? And that, I think, will be small but doable. Small but doable changes. 99 times out of 100, God calls us to small but doable things. And don't despise those small changes because God delights to use small changes. God delights in small things, full stop, I think. Leave out the heroic and the spectacular because they can so often be for our benefit and not actually what God is wanting. Stay with the small and the doable and you will find that you will be bearing fruit worthy of repentance. Amen. Great is the darkness that covers the earth, oppression, injustice and pain. Nations are slipping in hopeless despair, though many have come in your name. Watching while sanity dies, touched by the madness and lies. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit, we pray. Jesus, pour out your Spirit on us today. May now your church rise with power and love, this glorious gospel proclaim. In every nation salvation will come to those who believe in your name. Help us bring light to this world. That we might speed your return. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit, we pray. Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus, pour out your spirit on us today. Great celebrations on that final day. When out of the heavens you come Darkness will vanish, all sorrow will end And rulers will bow at your throne Our great commission complete Then face to face we shall meet Come, Lord Jesus, come, Lord Jesus
Jesus, pour out your Spirit on us today. In joyful expectation of your coming, Jesus, we pray. Come, bring in your kingdom with justice and mercy. We pray for the homeless and those living in poverty, for organisations who support them, especially the Archer Project, Roundabout, the food banks. Help us to live in the light of your coming and give us a longing for your kingdom. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come as King among the nations. We pray for this and all, na all nations responding to the Omicron variant. For those affected by the floods, storms and tornadoes. And for the situation with the Ukraine. Before you, rulers will stand in silence. Come, Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come break into the lives of all who struggle. We pray that you will comfort the broken-hearted and restore those who are ill and distressed. Break into our lives, set us all free to serve you. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come, bring the light of your Come, bring the light of your coming dawn. And we pray for all who are living in the darkness and the shadow of death. We pray especially now for those we know recently bereaved. May they live in the light of your presence. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Come as the shepherd and guardian of our souls. We offer the coming days to you, asking for your mercy and protection. Help us to shine as your lights in the world. Come, Come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus.
for whom we watch and wait, you sent John the Baptist to prepare the way of your Son. Give us courage to speak the truth, to hunger for justice, and to suffer for the cause of right, with Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus, do not delay. Give new courage to your people who trust in your love. By your coming, raise us to share in the joy of your kingdom on earth as in heaven, where you live and reign with the Father and the Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Light a candle in the darkness, light a candle in the night. Let the love of Jesus light us, light a candle in the night. Like a flicker in the darkness comes a mother's desperate cry. Then a baby's voice in answer Brings the coming of the light Light a candle in the darkness Light a candle in the night Let the love of Jesus light us Light a candle in the night he did not come in wealth and grandeur He did not stand with men of power He had no status to commend him He was homeless, he was poor Light a candle in the darkness Light a candle in the night Let the love of Jesus light us, light a candle in the night. But he came to heal the wounded, and he came to heal the scars of a world that's bruised and broken, where the image has been marred. Light a candle in the darkness Light a candle in the night Let the love of Jesus light us Light a candle in the night Light a candle in the darkness Light a candle in the night Love of Jesus light us, light a candle in the night, light a candle in the darkness, light a candle in the night, let the love of Jesus light us, light a candle in the
So may God give us grace to find those small, doable things that will change us so that we can share your love and justice. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. It's good to have Anne back with me again, keeping me on the straight and narrow this week. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In, in the, the name, name of Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. And thanks for joining.